What up guys? So today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to import characters from this version of Fuse, Fuse 1.3, into this version of Fuse, Adobe Fuse CC. Now as you can already see, I already have some characters from uh, the old version of Fuse, like the male skinny zombie A, female skinny zombie A, and female fit zombie A. And also you can notice there's not a lot of characters here as compared to this version where there's a lot of characters here. Now I'm not exactly sure if all characters from here are compatible with uh, Adobe Fuse CC. So if they aren't, please list them below in the comment section. That will be really helpful for me and everyone else. Okay, so to get started, you are going to need a copy of Fuse 1.3. And as far as I know, the only way you can get it is to get a Steam account and to get Steam. I'll put a link in the description below for Steam. But what you're going to need to do is download it, create an account for Steam, and you're going to need to download Mixamo Fuse 1.3 from the Steam Marketplace. And don't worry, it's free. But uh, once you have that, uh, we're going to get started and assemble a character. I'm going to, um, I guess I'll remake the male skinny zombie A and name it something else. Okay, so I just finished making the male skinny zombie A. Uh, I didn't do anything else but just construct it. You don't need to go into the texture tab now but you would want to later and leave this window open after exporting the model because when you go into Adobe Fuse CC you are going to need to refer back to the texture tab but uh, go into the file tab click on export and click export models OBJ make sure all these settings are at its default click OK and I'm going to save this as test zombie I'm going to click save and it's going to export it now from here open up uh, Adobe Fuse CC we're going to click Control shift M or you can go into file import import characters and we're going to find that uh, OBJ file that we just exported so I'm going to locate that so projects I have it located right here test on me import the OBJ file now this next step is very important you have to change the customize type to male fit A or female fit A. Do not leave it at none because you won't be able to customize the geometry of your zombie afterwards. Uh, so search tag zombie male skinny A, I don't know. I'm going to click next. Now texture maps, leave that at none. And we need to find the ambient inclusion maps, detail extra, normal map. We need to find all of these. So what you're going to do is go into Steam. Go on to your library, and by default, you should be in this menu right here, which is the Games tab. Click on Games, and click on Software, and you'll see Fuse. So what you want to do is right-click it, click on Properties, go on to uh, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and you are going to go into uh, Data, Domains, Mixamo, Parts, you're going to find the character that you just made, um, that you made off of. In this case, we made the male skinny zombie A. The, and you can see that these are all the texture maps right here. So Mixamo has already stored the texture maps for you. I'm going to copy this file location. Except on that, close, close. And we need an inclusion map. I'm going to click browse, paste the file location. And now I'm going to select the um, maps that I need. So AO, male skinny zombie underscore AO, that stands for ambient occlusion. Click that. Detail extra, detail extra right here. Normal map. You're going to have to select STD NM, not aged NM. STD NM means standard normal map, and aged NM means the aged normal map. So click standard normal map. And now we click the age normal map because we just selected it for here. And we're going to click finish. And I'll get back with you guys once this zombie has been imported. Okay, so we're in Adobe Fuse CC with the test zombie imported. And he's right here, unzombified. So that's a problem. Uh, by default, it will look like this once you've imported it. So I'm going to construct it real quick. And remember how I said choose the male fit A for the uh, customized type? Uh, now, if you didn't choose it, 
this uh, tab right here will be, um, I guess, grayed out and you won't be able to select it because you didn't choose a customized type. And if you have, you'll be able to edit the geometry like so. So I'm gonna just click reset all. And uh, we're gonna go into the texture tab from here. Click on the body of the zombie. Go into skin and we need to change the color. So the skin color, uh, we're gonna open up the old version of Fuse. And we're gonna go into the texture tab. And this is why I told you guys to leave it open is because we wanna pull in the RGB colors of the skin color here into um, this version of Fuse. Now I already have a custom color. It's not exact, but I mean, it's good enough for what I need. So I'm just gonna click okay. But uh, for you guys, just uh, edit the uh, RGB colors and the hue, saturation, and value colors so that it matches the uh, zombie here. And once you've done that, uh, we still don't have the blood effects and we still have uh, some hair on here. So what you want to do is minimize skin, go into the detail tab here, and maximize detail visibility. Now as you can see, we got the blood effects and we have the um, bloodshot eyes right here. So that's cool. We still have the hair though. So what you're going to do is go into facial hair and according to this zombie it has all hair except for a beard and regular hair. So we're going to make sure this is at none and this is at none and that's pretty much it for the uh, texture part because uh, eyelashes, I think it does have eyelashes, I don't know. And it's, it does have eyebrows but uh, yeah leave it at that. And once you're done, uh, take a look, compare it. This one's a little more shinier, but I do like this version better because it's more um, clean looking. It's probably due to the uh, advanced substances that the Adobe Fuse version has. But yeah, once you're done, click on set default. And I'm gonna skip this part of the video to finish the loading. Okay, so I just finished setting the defaults, but uh, to demonstrate what that does, I'm going to click File. I'm just going to make a new model and click Discard. And uh, so what Set Defaults does is it sets the de it sets whatever you clicked and edited on the Textures tab for your creation, and it sets it at as default. So it's pretty self-explanatory. And now we can construct our zombie the way we wanted it to, like in this version of Fuse. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure if this works for all zombies. Like for example, I tried to do this with the, uh, what's it called, Female Fit Zombie B, and I could not get it to work exactly. But uh, again, comment down below any characters that are not compatible with this little trick. But uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching.